Welcome back to Suburban Betty, a lifestyle channel about all things cosmetics, cleaning, cooking, and gardening. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I created this look with some of my favorite products, and I hope that you stick around and you enjoy. Okay, so when I am getting ready to go out and I know that I'm gonna do quite an involved um, eye makeup look, Basically, any look that involves a dark shadow, I'm always going to do my eye first and then do my face makeup. I really don't like having to redo the section under my eyes or like try and, you know, brush or fall out um, from an area that is, you know, just been concealed and had base put on and then it smudges, not my vibe. So I always do my eyes first. So I'm gonna start with those. And I'm gonna be using the um, MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Um, this is just a nice product to lay down almost as a primer for um, any kind of eyeshadow. Um, and it works for me because it's a little bit mattifying. Okay, so that's just a nice base that I can work on top of with um, my shadows. So let me show you what shadow I'm gonna be using. It's the It's the tartiest pro to go <laughs> palette. Pro to go, okay, let's try that again. It's the tartiest pro to glow palette um, from Tarte. And it's got some really pretty shades in it. It's just a six shade palette. And um, I really enjoy pretty much all the shades in there. It's a nice mix between um, matte and satin finishes. So I'll show you which ones I'm gonna use as I use them. Okay, now I'm switching to a different brush. So this is a delicate, oh no, it's a detail crease brush from e.l.f. Um, and I'm gonna be using this darker shade Stylin um, from the palette. And I'm just gonna put that directly into the crease. I'm gonna try not to buff it out. So I'm gonna stipple almost into the crease, that darker color. Okay, so you can see that I've got it about halfway across the outer eyelid in the crease, um, right down to sort of the curve of the crease, being careful not to go out too far on either side. So now I'm gonna take a sort of intermediate um, size brush, and this is the crease brush from e.l.f., and it's sort of um, a size between this Essence crease brush and that more detailed crease brush I was using. And now I'm just gonna buff that color out in that in the area that it's in firstly, and then I'm gonna just gently sort of go down into this area here. Um, but I'm only gonna do that after I've blended this section out a bit more. Okay, so now just looking at them, I can see that there is a bit more darkness um, in this crease than there is in the other one. So I just want to very lightly dab like super small amount of pigment and just go into that crease and just try to match it to the other one because you don't want one eye to look heavier than the other. A tiny bit more. Literally just like a tiny bit on the end of the brush. There we go, I think we're getting closer to having them even. Okay, 
Okay, now as a last step, I'm gonna go back in with the bigger crease brush and the original um, drive color that we were using. Actually, this isn't a last step, it's just to sort of finish blending um, around the outside. So I wanna, yeah, I'm gonna go into this drive color, this paler um, matte color, and I'm just gonna blend right on the outside. So over here. Sometimes just using a lighter matte color can help if you have any areas that aren't blending out with a darker pigment. You can even actually go into your crease and just blend out what's in there. Okay, now I am going to go into, firstly into this dark bronzy color. Um, it is called Boss. And I'm going to lay that onto the outside bit of the lid. So about from here to here on each eye. And I'm gonna use a flat brush to do that. Um, this is um, a Real Techniques brush. I'm not sure which one it is. It definitely comes in the, I think it comes in the face pack. Um, and I think it might be for lips, but I find it ideal for putting um, pigmented color onto the lid. So I'm gonna take that bronzy color and I'll put it on either side of the brush. And I'm gonna pack that into this area here. Now I just want to wipe this off um, on some tissue. Um, you can also just use a little bit of brush cleanser if you want. Um, and I'm going to use this beautiful gold called Hype. And I'm going to put that from sort of um, the inside of the lid right um, into meeting that darker bronzy color. I love this color, I think it's so pretty. You can see that's just like a nice lighter gentle color. I'm pulling it slightly up into the crease just so that it looks like it's fanning out a little bit. You can see that like fan look. Um, and I'm pulling it slightly over that more bronzy color um, just sort of as a way of blending them together. And let's do it on the other side. I just want to go and deepen up the bronze in the corner of the lid on each eye. Okay, so we're not completely finished with the shadows. Once our face makeup is on, I'm going to come back to this palette. Um, but for now, we're mostly done. Um, the only thing that I'm going to do still is quickly go into the face um, makeup palette that I'm going to use, which is the Tartius Pro Glow To Go palette. And I'm just going to use this lighter or the lightest um, highlighter shade just to pop underneath my brow bone, like so. I still have to brush out and do my brows, but this should stay on for that if I am precise enough. Okay, maybe just a touch more. 
never have enough highlighter. I'm just gonna buff those out. It's not the <laughs> not the best brush to use. So pretty. Okay, now I just want to put some um, Mac Fix Plus um, onto the eye area and just fan it dry. Um, and this just helps sort of the color to look like more seamless. Like if you haven't blended anywhere out really well, this will sort it right out. Now I'm just going to cleanse under my eye and you can see there's the fallout that you don't want on your makeup. It's even more. Okay now onto primer. I'm using um, Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. This is one of my favorites. I really like this primer. Okay, now I'm going to foundation. I'm going to use Elf Flawless Finish. It's at most medium coverage, but I like like a lower coverage product anyway, so I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm just going to apply it with um, a beauty sponge. Um, I don't. It's definitely not a beauty blender. Um, I think it's AOA. I'm not sure though. Okay, now I'm just gonna pop some um, Fit Me Concealer in light um, onto areas of my chin where I just want a bit extra coverage. Okay, now I'm gonna pop a lightening concealer under my eyes. This I do use quite often. I do like to use like something lightening under my eyes. Um, and this is, I'm not sure what this is called. This is the e.l.f. Um, under eye concealer basically. It just comes in this two pack, so one brightening, which I, I never use this side, but I use the concealer in quite a bit. And I really like it, it's like a perfect color um, for me and it is quite brightening. I'm just going to pop a bit in the inner eye, there, and I'm just going to work that in with the pointy tip of the concealer, of the sponge. This doesn't have a ton of coverage, so it doesn't do like a very intense job of under eye concealing, but I feel like it gives you a semi-natural finish, which is nice. 
and then I'll just use whatever's left to go onto my nose just to brighten brighten the area up a bit okie dokie now I'm just gonna sort of let the face makeup settle a bit um, because I'm not gonna set with too much powder um, I might put a bit of powder under my eyes um, but I'm just gonna let it settle first and while I let it settle I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using um, just the elf brow basic brow pencil they're like two three dollar brow pencil I'm just gonna brush my brows out first with a spoolie end and then I'm gonna add some color to them with a pencil end Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to feel under my eye. My eye feels, under eye feels dry enough. I'm not going to put powder on it. But now I'm going to start what I like, which is like my super fun space to be in. And that is using face products. So I'm going to, like I said earlier, I'm using this face palette from Tarte. Um, I haven't had massive success with the bronzer. Um, I've had sort of moderate success with it, but... I do have sort of bronzers that I prefer to this one. Um, I'm gonna use it today because I'm using the palettes and I don't wanna get a different one out. But these highlighters, oh, they are so beautiful. Both of them. I love this one. It's like slightly cooler, but more like pearly when it goes on. And this one, I mean, just you just look golden, like look healthy and golden and I adore them. So I'm going to um, use just a very, very light hand with sort of a large blending brush just to warm up the perimeter of my face, first of all, with the bronze color, and um, then I'll pop on some blush and use one of the highlighters. I haven't decided which one yet. I haven't decided if I want to be pearly or golden. So we'll see. I'm just using an e.l.f. complexion brush. And I'm not gonna pick up a lot of this bronzer. I'm going to shake the brush because I really don't want to um, have to blend too much. I'm just dabbing that into the perimeter. We love the shade of this bronzer. It's neutral but it's still warm. Um, which is kind of rare. I don't like um, bronzers that are too cool toned. I mean, obviously that's basically sculpting powder, right? But um, you do get bronzers that are just too cool toned. And I just don't, I don't love the look of that on my skin. Um, I don't often really sculpt um, or contour really heavily when I do makeup. I just, I don't know if it's just that I can't make it work, but just never I feel never really looks that nice on me I do put a bit onto my cheekbones or use like a slightly smaller brush for that um, I use one of these actually like a highlighting brush um, from ALF and then I just work into that area and just a little bit of the bronzer Same on this side, just a touch. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for bronzing, just touch around the perimeter a little bit onto the cheekbone. So now let's talk about one of my favorite blushes ever. So I'm not sure if I'll still make this, but it was just one of their like, really inexpensive pan blushes. You can see I've had mine for a long time. 
and it looks untouched <laughs> and that's because you need so, well i need so little of this and it's in um, brick red and this is like i think i'm gonna cry when this blush is finished because it is it's just such a cute color on me i really love it um but that being said i don't know when i'll ever finish it because it really requires so little um for me it's so, like i'm literally picking up like a tiny amount just in the middle of this blush brush and i'm just going to pop it into the apple and then drag it slightly up a bit onto the cheekbone it just looks so natural like it looks like this is like a blush glow that i would naturally have and i feel like it adds so much life to my face i'm gonna put like a tiny dab more i'm always scared though because you can go too far very quickly with this blush um, so you have to use like a really light hand especially if you've got pale skin I think if you've got like a nice richer skin tone then you're probably like a little bit safer um, be a bit easier to sort of like go a, a bit more enthusiastically into it um, but the first time I used it I used it enthusiastically and I had to start over and take my makeup off um, but I did like the color. I was like, oh, that actually looks like when I'm sort of, you know, blushing or flushed from exercise. Um, and I like that. I love that it looks like it could be natural. Isn't that pretty? I mean, don't I look just like healthy and flushed? And I love that look. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to go for... I've got gold in my eyes, so I'm going to go and try and sort of make it look cohesive and I'm going to, I'm going to do both highlights as probably, actually, I'm just going to use both. <laughs> I'm going to use a small tape brush, I really like that one. And I'm just going to go over with that um, goldy highlight color called Burst. So you can see I've just got a generous amount because I do love this. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, in my life, more highlighter is more highlighter. I love a good highlight. Um, it makes me happy. If I feel well highlighted and glowy and my skin doesn't look dry, mm, happiness. Okay, a bit more onto this side. Oh, look at that highlight. Oh, I love that so much. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, I'm just putting some on the edge of my nose. And then I'm just going to go over it very gently with this lighter color and gleam. Not too much though, because I mean, you don't want to have like... You don't want to look like tinfoil. But, although maybe I would. <laughs> Maybe I'd be open to that. I'm open to looking like tinfoil. Uh, I'm just going to put some on my cupid's bow. A bit more on my nose. And then with my... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use my pinky finger because my nails are quite long. I'm not sure what kind of brush this is or where I bought it from, but that's basically what it looks like. And I'm going to go into the gleam so that's um, more pearly shade and just some into the inner corner of each of the eyes oh bling bling okay so we're nearly there um i just want to do i'm not going to put eyeliner on so the last thing that i want to do though to the eyes is go back to that palette and go back to that shiny purple color which is called dominate show you that one this one here um, and I'm just gonna put a little line of it um, underneath each eye um, so it's not like gonna be like a strict line it's more like a smudged line And then 
to complete the eyes other than mascara I'm gonna put on this LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner I'm not sure what the color is super bright um, and I'm just gonna put that inside the waterline underneath my eyes and this basically is just super useful for making your eyes look very open um, and I love it for that like my eyes always look like wide open when I use this So now, almost done, MAC Fix Plus 0.2, just a small amount just to really like help all of that highlighter soak in and look super natural and it makes the makeup just look a lot more seamless and like it's just one layer of makeup on as opposed to like bunches of different powder and weird texture. So. I like it for that and I'm going to pop a lip on while my eyelashes draw out a bit more. Okay, I love that color. And now to finish everything off, I'm going to do some mascara. Um, and in terms of favorites, I think it, you might know what I'm going to choose. It's L'Oreal Lash Paradise, um, which I adore. And there is the final look um, I hope that you like it I really do um, I feel like no look really comes together until your mascara is on so I feel like I always look so weird until I've put my mascara on um, and also put some lipstick on you just always feel and look a bit naked until that point um, so yeah so I hope that you enjoy this look and you We'll maybe give it a try at home or we'll give elements of it a try at home. Maybe try some of these products if they're still available. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining. If you like this look, if you learned something, or even if you just had fun watching me sort of <laughs> give it my best go, then please do subscribe um, and like this video. And I hope to see you next time.